missions and the goals of indigenous leadership. Um, that's a fancy way of saying raising up student leaders. Um, and, and because I have a seminar on this, I'm not going to dive too far into this. But realize this is another way that we are both like missions and we need to do it like missions. If you've kind of, on purpose or on accident, seen yourself as kind of the crux of your mission, that's probably a mistaken idea. That just like many missionaries, we need to go into these campus tribes and say our goal in the end is to raise up indigenous leadership. Now, unlike foreign missions, we may not have the view that we're going to entirely turn it over. There is a difference. All our, you know, or almost all our students are kind of under 23 or 24, and that makes a difference. We're the ones who stick around. Their life cycle is four years. Um, you know, other tribe deals with that. But, um, and, and so there's a few differences. But by and large, we need to think about this like missionaries do. That if we're not able to turn over the functions of our college ministry to student leaders, then maybe we haven't arrived just yet. And it's very worth saying, how can we get toward more and more indigenous leadership? Because, not just because it's valuable for them, although it is, not just because they, they really are kind of in this verge of adulthood stage, but they are. Not just because they could be an incredible gift to the church as we release them into the wild um, after college, but, but they could be. But also because we, we need that. They're going to be better at this in a lot of ways than we are. We've talked about context and we've talked about mission field. They are more of the mission field than you and I will ever be. Even if you attended that school, you're years out now, um, probably at least, from what it meant to be part of that Hoosier tribe or whatever tribe you're a part of. Um, and so, so for them to take part, they're going to have some insight that you don't have. Um, like I said, I talk about this in my seminar, so we'll dive more into that. But one resource, the uh, most formative one for me, has been Growing Leaders. Um, you can find it at growingleaders.com. The guy who leads it is named Tim Elmore. Lots of good materials for training your student leaders. Lots of good things. He produced a resource and is still producing resources called Habitudes, which is how some people have gotten to know him, but he's had stuff for years. He was, um, at one time, a college minister of a very large um, college ministry in San Diego, and now he does leadership training both Christian and secular uh, with sports teams and with college ministries for sure and with others um, all over the country. Just amazing, and so I really encourage you to check out that resource.